You what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team game. We've got ourselves a new running back in town today and his name is Barry Sanders. And we've got ourselves a throw downfield to Darius Slay. But Darius Slay is not on our offense so that will be an interception to start the game off and slay returns it all the way to the 45 yard line a pretty ill-advised throw to kick the game off thankfully a loss of four will kick off his offense he's looking to pass with michael vick all day going corner but xavier rhodes able to close in the ball and strip it loose third down and long right here we're gonna try to send a little bit of pressure and vick able to shed one but not the marcus Ware who gets home Fourth and 27, got to punt the ball in this situation. Nobody likes punting the ball when it's fourth and 27. You got to swallow your pride and just kick that ball away and hope you can play some defense, which he did do to start the game off. We did bomb it downfield, kind of ill-advised, but here we are, second down, giving the ball to Barry Sanders outside, trying to hit him with a juke. Instead, Sanders contained at the 28-yard line, third down, got a pass with Vic and Sean Taylor with the interception, just climbing the invisible ladder to get that one. I really didn't think Sean Taylor had that in him. Here's Barry Sanders getting away from traffic. And yeah, Barry Sanders touchdown, but that's his Barry Sanders, not ours. And we go down 7-0 after a quick two interception first half and a big hit on Tyreek Hill when, yes, I was trying to lateral the ball there, but they did not let me and we nearly fumbled as a result. So we would like to not throw a third interception in the first quarter and maybe score some points on this drive. Third down and eight, Odell Beckham with the catch, but not the first down. It's fourth down and inches. We're going to hand this ball off to Barry Sanders just straight up smash mouth football all we got to get is a yard right there so as long as he doesn't run commit i do feel pretty good about our chances but offensively you can see i'm kind of out of it right now i just threw a zig route to our tight end so um we're definitely gonna have to settle down at some point in this game third down and eight this may be our time odell down the seams making the catch this time is sean taylor doesn't climb up high and get the catch here's a new set of downs here's michael vick rolling out the pocket now we're starting to get a little bit of momentum second down and five vick oh man running around in a circle and getting sacked by bosa and just like that all the momentum gone but he goes off sights on third down free play trying to hit barry that is straight up pass interference I, I i'll take the off size but can i get a pi please rep third down and eight from the 32 yard line he's looking to send a little bit of heat doesn't get home instead we've got all day to search downfield owens with the great catch at the two yard line over rod woodson looking to pass this one in but Travis Kelsey has the ball jarred loose. Second down one more time. Dish in the rock. OBJ in for the touchdown. Ride him, Cowboy. Now we focus on the defensive end of the ball. So far, our defense has been playing okay. For the most part, we have put ourselves in bad situations by throwing interceptions. So we'll see what he does having to work from his own 24-yard line. So far, not too good. Ryan Shazier all over that play, bringing up a second down and 10. He pitches it to Sanders. As long as we take away this one pitch play that he keeps on running, hopefully we can contain the run game and force him to make a mistake in the air. That will be a first down, squeezing it in tight coverage. Minute 17 left in the first half of a tie game. Michael Vick, nothing open. Here's the pressure, and he's got to throw that ball away and lift to play another down. He comes out in the same formation he likes to run out of, but he does pass here, and he barely got the playoff, and he's going to get intercepted by Shazier. He puts his hands in the cookie jar, and Ryan Shazier will make him pay. That was a pretty game-changing play, potentially, right here as Barry Sanders outside. Look at our new running back go! Pure speed, getting away from Cam Chancellor, and into the end zone. That is why we got Barry Sanders, because he is the fast. Well, he and Tavon Austin are the fastest running backs in the game, but Barry's like legit. Tavon's got like 40 carrying and like 70 spin move. Barry's the full package as we get the sack there from JJ Watt. And believe it or not, that sack will actually end the game. This guy rage quits. He had enough in a one possession game with 30 seconds left. Fine by me, bit of random time. I don't know if he's trying to kick us or what, but like he just quits out the game nonetheless, and we move on to the next one. And one more time, we're going to try to get Barry Sanders more touches, because 
Last time Barry got the ball, he scored a touchdown. Like, he tried to click on with Cam Chancellor and, like, prevent a spin move. But I was like, all right, if you want to play down low, I'm just going to kick it into high gear with Barry. And that plan worked out pretty well. So now we're in the next game, and we get sacked immediately by Whitney Merciless right there. Second down and 16 after that loss. Here's Odell getting us the yards and the first down back. Again, a 20 on the playmaker. Next play is play action. Michael Vick, check out a wide open. Unfortunately, I miss him. Trying to run this one for a first down, but he makes a nice tackle with the linebacker right there. Only a gain of one as we give it to Beckham. And Beckham going to take it to the 41-yard line. Bring up a third down and five. Dumping it down to Barry Sanders, who gets the first down before being big hit out of bounds. No QB spice. So we've got all this space to eventually, yeah, everyone sticks on the receiver, so we will run with Michael Vick. He's sending a 3-4 man pass rush, and that's fine. If he doesn't want to put out a QB spy, Michael Vick has these runs, so he's either going to have to send pressure or put out a QB spy, because if he does neither, not going to work out for him. Now at the goal line where things get a little bit tight, Kelsey nearly gets us an interception. That was an option route. Either run a streak or run an angle route, and he unfortunately cut it in for like a little post, and that wasn't the right read, Travis. Now it's third down to nine here, looking to get a high point to Randy Moss. Double move, and Moss climbing up high, getting the touchdown over his user defender. Knowing that he was using the safety on that right side of the field, I specifically called that play. I figured he would bite. Just a little bit, just enough, and thankfully Randy was able to make that catch. He's got one of the new running backs in the game, Eddie George, and he nearly threw it to Ronnie Lott. Instead, third down and 13 for Matt Stafford in the offense, and he puts his hands in the cookie jar. But J.J. Watt? Yeah, we just got to use a pick with J.J. Watt, folks. That's not something you see every single day. Now he puts out the QB spy, but... By only rushing two and putting out a QB spy, we actually have all day to throw the ball. Unfortunately, Odell not able to make that catch somehow. Here we are running with Barry Sanders on second down. Look at Barry carrying the pile. As little as he is, his one deficiency is his strength, is his trucking. They don't look like much of a weakness there. Unfortunately, third down, we end up getting that ball swatted, bringing up a fourth down and five at the 45, keeping the offense on the field, sending pressure here is Tyreek Hill for the first down. Fortunately, we miss Odell streaking downfield for a potential touchdown, but at least we do move the chains. And on the next play, Randy Moss burning the man coverage, looking to go all the way. Moss bouncing off a of Dolphins down at the five yard line, handoff to Barry cutting and getting rocked by Derrick Brooks. Second down looking to pass, and that is Greg Olson for the touchdown once again. Came out of cover two, user the safety on the right side, so that anger route's going to get wide open if he bites down the line of scrimmage. So if you're going to use her a safety, you got to know your responsibilities, and that guy definitely gambled a little bit too much, even in the goal line area. So now it's second down and 12. Make that first down and 10. Shannon Sharp streaking down the field right there. We're definitely going to have to cover that ourselves. In the meantime, a nice little sack off the edge by Demarcus Ware, sending six, second down and 19. User pick again, and it's J.J. Watt again. And J.J. Watt running downfield. Brown can bring him down, tackled eventually. And this man, Rage quits out the game after being user picked for the second time by J.J. Watt. <laughs> I, I mean, I ran a goofy little blitz right there, and I dropped into coverage with JJ. I'm like, JJ might actually be able to catch this if he tests me. And I, I don't know if he saw JJ Watt, and that's why he threw it in the middle of the field, or if that was just his read on the play. But JJ Watt's not the guy to go after. You can't put your hands in the cookie jar, not even if we have a DN named... Like, JJ Watt's a little bit of a special breed, but like, still... Um, <laughs> that, that was pretty cool right there. That's the first time I got to pick with a DN this year. And the second time. <laughs> Both of them with Watt. So we move into one more game right here since this guy ended up rage quitting. One more time we're going against a Michael Vick. And after rushing for the first down earlier, we got bodies on Vick. He thankfully is contained, but we could have forced the fumble right there. That run play goes nowhere. Third down and 11. It's play action. We didn't really fall for the play action. He's going downfield, and that is going to be intercepted by Ryan Shazier on Antonio Brown. What a play by Mutt Master Ryan Shazier, but that is why you grind for that 95 overall. Ryan Shazier, whoop! Barry Sanders breaking ankles and speeding away. Someone called the cops, because Barry is Oh, he is a fast, fast man. All the way for the touchdown after one quick move. 
This Barry Sanders is legit. I got into these online games just because I was like, yeah, I don't like Ricky Williams. I'm like, I'm using Ricky Williams in solo challenges. I'm like, this guy just doesn't feel that good. So I wanted to get a new running back. I was looking at Eddie George. He, I don't know. He just didn't look that fast. He didn't look that elusive. I like my running backs elusive. I like my user picks with Ryan Shazier. I like when people put their hands in the cookie jar because it's mine, not yours. Thank you very much. And yeah, Barry Sanders is kind of my style of running back. And uh, so far, so good. Definitely enjoying him. I feel like he... Like, the way I play is the best running back. If you like, you know, pure smash mouth football, that Eddie George might be your guy. But the way we're playing, Barry Sanders is the real deal. Oh, what a hit on Randy Moss. And that will be a fumble and a fumble recovery for our opponent. We were on our way to making it a two touchdown game. Instead, here he is from his own end zone, getting stripped by Ryan Shazier, who has forced three first half turnovers, two interceptions, the fumble, and the fumble recovery, all by Mutt Master Shazier, Michael Vick, diving down the 14-yard line, trying to slide, and um, thankful we didn't fumble the ball right back for a second play in a row. Here's Barry Sanders on the handoff, getting a pretty good gain, almost a touchdown on that one, second down and three, looking to pass, he's only rushing three, so Vick going outside, and Vick needs a block, he kind of got it from Barry, just enough to get into the end zone, and get us our two touchdown lead. So if this guy wants to go at Ryan Shazier one more time, go ahead. Shazier's got three turnovers for his... He's okay with getting a fourth one, so we're going to sit in the middle of the field with Shazier, and he's going to go deep instead, but Ronnie Lott is in the area, and Ronnie Lott's going to get the interception, and Ronnie Lott is going to force the rage quit. So that'll do it for this video. We can't keep someone in a game for longer than the second quarter, unfortunately, but um, still, though, user face with JJ Watts. Fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.